evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good evening. Hi. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good How evening. are you doing? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was it? Was it good? Very ah, good. Nice. Very, very good. good. Okay. Happy to hear that. ¿Qué hicieron? Did you go out? Did you rest? ¿Descansaron? Not really? Yes. Yes. I go okay. to travel. Where? Where did you travel? I traveled to Huayua. Oh, nice. Nice. Especially si fue para el gastronómico. So that sounds super good. All right. Yes. Nice. So everybody, thank you so much for joining another week. Gracias por estar acá super, super on time. And siempre les robo como un minutito, but, but I'm super happy to have you here. So as we always do, I'm going to get started with uh, my attendance. All right. So may you then please to um, get your cameras activated, get your cameras on. I want to see you guys. And I want to listen to your voices. So if you can help me on that. Uh, let me see. Give me just a second. So, no los puedo ver, así que si me ayudan con, diciéndome siempre, present, please. Help me with this. Uh, my first person is Astrid. Astrid, Lisa. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Fel Carlos Felipe. Present. Thank you. Carolina Lisset. Present. Thank you, Carolina. Uh, Daniela El Alejandra. Present. Thank you so much. Did not Estela? Present. Thank you. Dios me asistito. Present. Thank you. Edwin de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Emily Jamilet. Present teacher. Nice. Emma Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Guadalupe Herrera. Italo Vladimir. Jennifer Saray. Present. Thank you. Jerry Alejandro. Present. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, thank you. Jose Eliseo. Yes, present. Thank you. Karen Lorena. Okay. Jose Ramon. Present. Thank you. Carla Maria. Present. Thank you. Crisia Abigail. Present. Thank you. And uh, Lorena Stephanie. Present. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Miriam de la Flor. Miriam Esmeralda. Ofelia. Preyana. Rafael Vasquez. Present. Thank you. O Kelly de Jesús. Creo que acabo de escuchar a O Kelly. Present, present. Ok, thank you. And uh, Roxana Maribel. Silvia Rocío. Susie Stephanie. Susie, Present. Creo que a Susie. Present. Thank you. Aquí estoy. Thank you so much. Uh, Tania Karina. Present. Thank you. And uh, Walter Giovanni. Present. Thank you so much. No, yeah, I mentioned. Me faltó alguien. Did I miss anybody? Okay, everybody, so thank you so much for uh, joining this week. All right, so it's really nice to have you one week more. 
And uh, vamos a trabajar this with session number four. So we are going to like get familiar with some vocabulary here. Uh, to get started, I want to, eh, first quiero agradecerles por ayudarme a completar las sesiones uno, dos y tres. Eh, ya vi que algunos me avanzaron incluso ya están trabajando en la cuatro, así que super good job. Eh, sí, pero si todavía hay algunos que me deben alguna sección, so please eh, ayúdenme a completarla. Help me eh, complete in this one today, if possible. Están cortitas, no le va a tomar mucho tiempo. So I really need your help on that. Um, today we are going to get familiar. We are going to start working on unit session number four, right? Uh, so, un segundito. Okay, hold on. Something happened here. So we are going to start working today with uh, clothing, right? So we are going to work a little bit with ropa y vocabulario relacionado con ropa. So to get started, I need your help, okay? And I need everybody to go to the chat and help me, please. If we are talking, for example, about women, what are the most common um, articles that only women wear? ¿Cuáles son esas cosas que like, make it different between men and women? So I want you to please go to the chat and type a couple of things that you consider women wear the most. I see dress, dress, blouse, okay. Podemos usar el diccionario, you can go to your dictionary, translator, anything. So I want to see everybody, everybody participating. Jeans, Emma says high heel shoes, okay, that's interesting, that's okay. Lorena's socks, okay. Blouse, all right, that's okay. Anything else, pants, scarf, all right. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? What else? What else? Skirt. Okay. Yes. Coat. Hat. All right. Sandals. Yes. That's okay. That's good. A jacket. All right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That's very good. Now let's go with men. So if we are talking about men, tell me some things that uh, belong only for men. All right. Algunas cosas que solamente men wear. I'll give you like one minute. So everybody go to the chat, try to look for some words and let's do it. So everybody, I see gloves, t-shirt. Oh, hold on. That's for men, I think. Okay. Oh, no, that's for girls. Okay. Okay. So, all right. I think that they got kind of confusing here. So we have, for example, a tie, right? Una corbata. So we have pants, hat, boots, okay, coat, t-shirt, dress. Uh, I would say dress is more for women, right? Uh, belt, sweater, okay, sweater, all right. Okay, so there are like some specific items uh, que si son diferentes, right? Which are a little bit different. So in the meantime, guys, let me share my screen because this is what we 
so in this class in this class you will learn close vocabulary uh related to things that you wear for the work and for uh like hobby or to be in your house so i'm going to start some vocabulary let me go ahead and play a video for you to exemplify some vocabulary okay and uh, let me play this give me one second please get your notebook get your pencil ready y tomemos notas del vocabulario que podamos encontrar que es el nuevo right Larry, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, sweater, Jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes. Okay, everybody, so here we have some maybe new or not new vocabulary. So we have for work and for leisure or for hobby, right? So in men, it's more common to have shirt, tie, belt, jacket, pants, and coat, right? But in El Salvador, it's too hot. So maybe coat is not very common. Uh, for a girl, we have blouse, scarf, skirt, or a suit, right? And high heels or heels, right? Uh, so this is like very like formal thing. Then we have dress, raincoat. I would say this is not common in our country because of the weather, because it's not very, very cold. So it's more common, this kind of clothing. Now, leisure. For leisure, we have a hat, sweater, jeans, gloves, uh, and boots. Again, boots, I don't think it's too common. We have a cap for a boy, a t-shirt. Look, shirt is formal. T-shirt is not formal. Shorts, socks, and sneakers, right? And then we have other things, for example, pajamas uh, or swimsuits when you go to the beach, right? So, uh, in my house, for example, I preferred to wear pajamas or shorts and uh, not a sweater, but a t-shirt probably. So I would go with some shorts, a t-shirt, uh, not socks, not, and maybe a sneakers, right? And that's it. So what about you guys? What is something that you normally wear 
to go to work. And what do you wear to stay in your house? So let me stop presenting here because I want to share something else. Uh, for example, I can say, for work, oops, for work, I wear. So when we are talking about clothing, usamos I wear. Yo uso, right? Yo visto, yo me pongo. So for work, I wear. And to stay at home, I wear. Yeah? So it's different when you go to work. It's different when you stay at home. Oh, and also let's add something else. When... When I go out, yeah, cuando van como a pasear, I wear. So what do you wear? Is it different? Is it the same? Right? So what do you normally wear, guys? I'm going to give you some minutes and I want you to complete these three statements. For work, when it's like physicamente, right? In my case, I wear high heels. I wear high heels, high heels, mm, skirt, dresses or pants, blouses, and a jacket, in a jacket. So this is in my case. When I go out, I wear maybe jeans, a pair of jeans, sneakers, mm, blouse, or a shirt. A blouse, etc. When I stay at home, I wear a shirt. Now that's a t-shirt. A t-shirt. Uh, some flip flops. Or shorts. Or pajamas. So this is like my description. So what about you guys? What do you normally wear? Okay. So let's try to do something similar to this. What do you wear when you go to work, when you go out, or when you stay at home? Uh, Alguien usa uniforme? Do you wear a uniform? Yes, I use uniform. Okay, so okay, Lee wears a uniform. Alguien más? Anybody else? Carla. Okay, so Carla wears a uniform. Okay, Lee wears a uniform. Nadie más usa uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's. Yes. Oh, okay. Who said yes? <laughs> I didn't see the name. I just heard <laughs> yes, the voice. I... Hey, Jose. Hi there. Perdón, hey. no estaba en la clase. Hi. Good, good night. Oh, no, no worries. No estaba en clase. Aún voy en mar, en manejando. Marcha. Oh, but gracias por, por conectarse. Es correcto, sí. Thank you so much. Le agradezco okay. enormemente por estar ahí. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, well, para que, okay. you know, no se descuide tanto, piénsalo, right? No lo escriba, Eliseo. <laughs> That's fine. And be careful, please. So, I will give you like three minutes, okay? Me avisen cuando estén listos. Let me know when you're ready so we can share. Julie? Hello? Hi, tell me. What, what is the work? You have to complete this. Uh, for the work, I work. 
when I go okay, out, okay. I work. And when I'm in, a, okay. in my house, I work. <laughs> Perfect. In the chat or in my... Uh, yeah, you can in do it in a, in a piece of paper. Yeah, you can do it in your computer. No worries. Because Perfect. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, um, are you good? Is everybody finished? Is everybody ready? Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time? I need more time, Julie. Two, two minutes. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's fine. So, two minutes.
No le escuchamos, teacher. Eh, no, no, no. De hecho, estaba apagado porque tienen como un minutito más para poder trabajarlo. To complete the exercise. Oh, guys, there was a part that is very important in the video donde habla de sneakers. So, sneakers son los que normalmente usamos para salir, right? Si usted tiene un par de zapatos que le llamamos tenis en español, en inglés we can call it sneakers. So, those are the famous sneakers that are in this video. Teacher, one question. And in sneakers, yes. on sports shoes. Eh, okay, the thing is this. Um, hay como una pequeña diferencia en los que usamos para correr, los que usamos para hacer ejercicio y los que usamos diariamente, right? Si, por ejemplo, tengo un par de zapatos que yo le llamo tenis, pero los uso solo para ir a, a pasear. <ríe> ok, so esos son sneakers. Si los uso para caminar, para correr, para hacer ejercicio, then that would be sports, sports shoes. Thank you. You are so welcome. So everybody, I want you to listen like to this new vocabulary. I want you to listen to your classmates. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can go with these groups and you can talk to these people, all right, into Quality song like what do you wear for work? What do you wear for going out? Y para estar en la casa. Si encuentro un vocabulario nuevo, please feel free de preguntar al compañero, excuse me, what is the meaning of the word? Yeah. ¿Qué significa? What does it mean? Porque es bien importante que también we add more vocabulary. So we can ask this question. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is the meaning? Of, y por ejemplo, escuché la palabra sneaker. Excuse me, what is the meaning of a sneaker? Yeah, so, ¿qué significa? What is the meaning of a sneaker? Um, or, o si quieren saber cómo se dice algo, le pueden preguntar también al compañero. Um, excuse me, how do you say, so, ¿cómo se dice, por ejemplo, bufanda? How do you say bufanda in English? How do you say blusa? Yeah, how do you say aritos? All right, so you can ask. How do you say? O si quieren saber el significado de una palabra, what is the meaning of, y luego la palabra. All right? So, intentemos usar also these words because they are going to be very important for us de ahora en adelante. So, let me invite you to this small group. Uh, please, everybody, get there. Practice, okay? Practice, listen to your classmates, agregamos vocabulario y ya regresamos y nos van a compartir lo que escucharon. So, everybody, let's go. Hi, Ophelia. Good evening. Miss, ¿necesita ayuda? Sneakers. 
uh, and to say uh, and the home and where teacher flip flop uh, and shorts uh, lo uh, uh, anterior flip flops uh -huh. <laughs> flip flop flip flip flops uh, finish Okay, flip, flip flop. You say flip yes. flop. Okay. Um, now, Astrid, please. Yo. Okay. But igual me corrigen si digo algo mal. For work, I wearing blouse, pants, shoes. I when I got when I go, out, I wear jeans, t-shirts, sandals, or uh, es, sneakers. Ah, uh, sí se decía zapatos casuales. Sí. Okay. Gracias. Right. Sí. And to say I home, I wear shorts, sandal, t-shirts, or pijama. Next. Hi. Grisia. Okay. Okay. For work, I wear a blouse, pants, sandals, or high heels. When I go out, I wear jeans or leggings, t-shirts, and sneakers, and sometimes, uh, sometimes cap. I like cap. And to stay at home, I wear shorts, t-shirts, leggings, and pajamas. O pijamas, no sé cómo se dice, pijamas, pijamas. Pijamas. Como pijamas. Ok. Um, I swear uh, boots for work and shoes and bell. Um, sure. Uh, when I stay at home, I swear uh, sneakers, a uh, t-shirt, um, sandals, and when I go vacation, um, I swear jeans, I swear cap, I swear shorts. Finish. Next. Um, Italo. Question, any question? Uh, what yeah. a minute, uh, flick flock, flick flock, flick flock, uh, sandalias. Okay, sandalias de hombre. Eh, son como rosadas, pero creo que son de hombre. <laughs> <laughs> no le quedaron a mi hija, pero creo que sí. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Uh, Chris, Chrisia, uh, excuse me, how do you say, uh, no, uh, no, perdón. Quiero decir, hay una, hay una palabra que, que no entendí. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Yo no, no, no lo anoté. Cuando le quiero preguntar que no entendí eso. Es como, where, where, what, what does a minion, algo así. What does a minion? Teacher, help, help me, please. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> 
I'm sorry. What word do you need? Eh, I, no entendí una palabra que dijo Crisia. Yo necesito preguntarle a ella y, y usted lo acaba de decir en clase, pero no lo anoté. ¿Cómo what is, preguntarle? What is the meaning of? So, y le puedo decir como, what is the meaning of that word? ¿Qué significa esa palabra? What, what is, is the meaning? meaning of that word? De esa palabra. What is the meaning of that word? Mm -hmm. Or what is the meaning? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Crisia. Uh, what is... Voy a poner esta de la manga larga. Es long, sleepy. Sure. Vale. Otra palabra. Ya saben qué significa skir. No. Es falda. Es falda. Ajá, skir. S. Eh, mm. Uh -huh. S que se me hizo S K I R T pero voy a escribir S K I R T ajá esa es falda otra que quiere participar Daniela <risa> los básquetes que son ah qué es ajá uh -huh. Es, es calzoneta. Calzoneta. Básquet, ajá. ¿Ya la mandó? No, ahorita la mandó. Básquet. Uh -huh. Me imaginaba que era como esos chores largos de básquet. Cabal, calzoneta larga. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Sorry, what is the word? Hi. Sorry, oh, I, I, I didn't get the word. Is it basket you said? No sé, a mí sí me parece en el traductor. <laughs> <laughs> para calzoneta. Es para ah, como calzoneta, esos, larga. esos shorts largos, ajá. Mm. Para los que se juegan basket. Ajá. Probably uh, that would be kind of a basketball. Basketball uh, trunks, I would say. So you can use basketball trunks. Basket, basket. Ya mm. solo, permítame, ya solo investigo. I'm gonna look for that one. Because, no sé por qué le parece basket. <laughs> so let me take a look. You can use basketball trunks in the meantime. Uh, hi, Ophelia. Nice to Hola, see you hi. here. Hey girl, hágame favor, regáleme su nombre completo. Ofelia, Ofelia Orellana Arce. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Orellana Arce, gracias. Sí, no worries. No. Okay, guys, so uh, almost finished. Ya que se termina. Yes. 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 Okay, okay, nice. That's okay. Then give me one second. Let me stop it and I will see you in the other meeting. Teacher, una pregunta. Existencial. <risa> Tell me. Eh, estábamos discutiendo, por ejemplo, Walter ocupa como gabacha, igual yo, como así como de doctora, no sé. No sé uh -huh. si es eh, white coat, pero coat es como suéter, no sé. Entonces, no sé, ahí estamos como en la duda. Yeah, but that's okay. You can use a, you can say coat. Mm -hmm. How do you say gabacha? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's a coat. Uh -huh. Yes. 
y camisa del centro. Como el que le llamamos la, el la, centro. La, la, la camiseta centro, sí. Ajá, es que los hombres utilizan una camiseta dentro y ahí la camisa formal y el saco. You can use this word that is a tank top. So, eso es como un centro para nosotros. Es un tank top. Uh -huh. And, y si es como para girl, hay una que sin tirantes, but you can just call it top. Uh -huh. But that is just a top. And that's okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, in this case, uh, what is t-shirt? A t-shirt is, for example, Edwin is wearing a t-shirt. Eh, Carla Maria is wearing a t-shirt. Jerry, what are you wearing? Oh, yes, Walter is also wearing a t-shirt. Eh? Jerry, are you wearing a t-shirt? Yes, pero, but, <laughs> es manga larga, uh, long sleeve. Oh, that's a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's a t-shirt. <laughs> or, uh -huh. or maybe a sweater, so it depends, right? Mm -hmm. For example, yes. I think Jose Ramon is wearing a shirt, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's more formal. T-shirt is informal and shirt is more formal. So okay. I think Jose Ramon is yours um, long or short sleeve? Short. Okay, short sleeve. All right. Mm -hmm. And normally for girls, we have blouse. Pero también pueden ser t-shirt, que son como las camisetas, yeah. right? So t-shirt is just fine. Yeah. Y cuando dicen camisa tipo polo. Polo, polo shirt. Polo shirt. Ah. Polo, ajá, uh -huh. it's a polo shirt. Mm -hmm. polo And shirt. then you okay. have like a lot of different types. Yes. Okay, guys, I have a little exercise for you. First, I want you to take, you know, vayan a buscar como su... Um, siempre tenemos algo de ropa que es como nuestro favorito. It can be a blouse, una cap, a hat, a scarf, okay? I want you to take a look at your clothes. Piensen como rapidito cuál es su item de ropa favorito. And I want ah, okay. you to get it. Lo vamos a mostrar. We are going to show it. Y vamos a hacer una pequeña descripción, como súper cortita, okay? My favorite. Uh, it, it can be like very simple, like this is my favorite. This is my favorite blouse. This is my favorite cap. This is my favorite pair of earrings. This is my favorite shirt, skirt, etc. Okay. And we have it is. Vamos a describir el color. It is blue. It is red. Okay. It is black. So, para que también revisamos a little bit of colors. All right. And then, in the previous class, revisábamos adjetivos, right? Words para describir personas y personalidad. Agreguemos un poquito más y describamos objetos. For example, it is comfortable. It is comfortable, it is cómoda, it is fresh, uh, or it is, uh, como es un regalo. Well, voy a cambiar acá un regalo, gift. it is special, you know, so it is special for me. So podemos dar, dar como pequeños detalles that, uh, to describe those things. So everybody like go really quick. I will give you only two, three minutes para que hagamos una descripción de el objeto or the piece of clothing que ustedes prefieren. So everybody get ready. Podría repetir cómo se dice cómoda, por favor. Sure, you can say there are two ways. You can say confort, confortable. This is one way, or the other one, que para mí es un poco más fácil de pronunciar es conf, comfortable. Se oye así, comfortable. Wait, comfortable. So you can say comfortable or comfortable. Or comfortable. Esa sería como la otra pronunciación. So you can also say like comfortable. Así como se lee, comfortable. Or comfortable.
Ok, guys, so you get three minutes y luego vamos a compartir. All right, so vayan a, a buscar su camiseta, you know, un par de, de calcetines, scarf, o algo que sea like your favorite. One more minute. Me indican si necesitan más tiempo, please. I finish. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Finish. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Finish. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for the confirmation, girls. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to need some volunteers. Okay. So you can share girls and boys with us part of your favorite item so you can show it this is my favorite and then nos explican like what it is all right um so i don't know if i have any volunteer oh okay Lee. okay very good nice sounds good where are you wait i don't see your camera Oh yeah, I see you now. Okay, yeah, I was like looking around. Okay, so tell us, tell us. Uh, show us what you got and tell us the description, please. What you like. Okay. Um, there are my favorite shoes. Okay. That, that, that. Okay. There are my favorite shoes because they are special for me. Mm -hmm. They are when my son was little. Okay. And they are a nice memory for me. Oh, sounds good. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Sounds very nice. And I like them. They are super, super small. <laughs> sounds good. All right. Thank you for sharing, guys. Emojis for him. You know, that was a very nice description. Emma, let me go with you. I saw your hand up. So go, Emma, go. 
Solo tenía que enseñar lo que yo, a mí me gustaba, no. Eh, si lo tiene en la mano, that would be nice. Es que lo tengo lavando. <risa> Díganme la descripción, that's ok. <risa> ok. It is my favorite, is a white blouse. Ok. It is comparable. It is my special because my father gave it out to me as birthday present. Nice. Okay. So is it a shirt or is it a blouse? Blouse. Ah, okay. Okay. Nice. Thank you for sharing, Emma. That's very nice. So I, no, nos la muestra mañana. <laughs> No, that's all right. Thank you. Creo que vine para... no, Daniela. Hey, Daniela, let me go with you. Nice, I like it. I have a lot of volunteers today. Ok, Daniela. voy a darle vuelta a la cámara para que lo vean. Ok, ok, ok. And this is my favorite dress. Okay. It's color white. It's elegant and it's comfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fresh. Okay. And this. <laughs> this <stuff. laughs> okay. Is it a graduation dress? No. Oh. No, Seth. Uh, I wear. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I wear. Uh, for parties. Uh, for church. For go to church. Ah, okay. Because mm -hmm. it, it looks very elegant, like for a graduation or a party. That's very nice. Thank you for sharing, Daniela. That's good. All right. Anybody Thank else? Somebody else, somebody else. Okay, Edwin, yes, Edwin, let me go with you. Hey, um, this is my favorite cup. Okay. Oh. Okay, nice. Um, it is brown. Uh -huh. uh, color, brown color. It, it is a special gift. Um, it is con, con favor, con favor, con, confortable or something. Confortable, así. yes. Confortable, confortable. Uh -huh, is, is fresh, um, finish. Nice, <laughs> that was good. I like it. That was a very good description. So it was very special. Thank you. Uh, Walter, I think I saw Walter's hand up. Yes, there you go. Okay, Walter, let's go ahead. This is my favorite shirt. It is green. The fabric is very soft. Uh, it is very resistant. It is new. It is new. It is new. Oh, okay. So that is the estreno. <laughs> okay, I like the color. It's a very nice green color. All right, thank you. Thank you, I like it. I like your descriptions, they are super good. All right, uh, Walter, select one more person, please, and the last of today. So you can pick, you can pick anybody. Puedes coger. You have a lot of people Carolina. to pick from. Carolina, okay. Carolina, let's go with you. <laughs> Está bien. Um, no sé si lo miran. Um, no? Sí? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Um, this is my dress favorite. It is blue. It is color Swiss me. It is comfortable. It is feminine, feminino, como feminino, ajá, muy femenino, 
Uh, yes, it's sexy. It's, it's sexy. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, finish. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I like the description. Okay, uh -huh. and I like the color. So yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. definitely. And and you have like like a fair skin color. So blue goes very uh -huh. nice uh -huh. with your skin. Uh huh. Nice. Yes, guys, I like it. Very good description. Thank you for sharing. Los demás me deben las, las, your descriptions, but I hope to uh -huh. listen to you later on. Okay. That was very nice, actually. Uh, guys, we are about to finish, but before finishing, solo quiero revisar attendance. Okay. Por si alguien se me quedó fuera de la attendance. Let me take a look here really quick. And uh, solo me ayudan, please. With your cameras, easy, alguien. Is like, um, is it mentioned to someone who was not before? Let me know, me said present, please. Give me one second. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. So let me go ahead. Okay. All right, so I am missing. Guadalupe, is Guadalupe here? Italo, creo que vía Italo, I think I present, saw him. Present. Yes, thank you. I got Karen Lorena. Karen, are you here? No. Eh, Miria de la Flor, I think she's not. Miriam Esmeralda, creo que vía Esmeralda. Present. Yes, there you go, thank you. And Ofelia, yes. Is right there. Roxana Maribel, creo que acabo de ver a Roxana Present. también. Yes, awesome. And Silvia Rocío. Silvia, are you here? Hi. Present, present. Awesome. Thank you so much. And, okay, Walter, yes, you're there. Okay, perfect. Awesome attendance, everybody. I like it a lot. Um, guys, antes de irnos, solamente tengo un aviso dominical here <laughs> that I want to go over. Um, que es precisamente... O sea, Liceo. Ay, sí. dime un segundo. Silvia. <laughs> Silvia, ya, ya vi que me puso presente. Un segundito. Que me voy a secundar. Because no, no veía el chat. So... Ahorita reviso. Eh, chicos, solamente agradecerles. Creo que lo mencioné al inicio de la clase, pero no estaban algunos. Así que gracias eh, a todos los que me ayudaron a completar la sesión número 3. And, uh, y si necesito su ayuda, hasta la número 3, please. I was taking a look y todavía hay algunos que me hacen falta. Um, y otros que tenemos en porcentaje 25%. Mm, así que les, les pido que, que me revisen, please, que el porcentaje... Si lleguemos al 80%, eh, porque si no lo voy a estar molestando el día de mañana para poder eh, subir sus calificaciones, right? Así que me ayudan con eso, revisan que el porcentaje de cada actividad sí les suba, you know. A veces no les va a marcar todas en, en green, no les va a marcar en la parte superior, como que ya están completados. Pero sí revisan que donde diga no le check, eso sí tenga nota, porque eso es like... Super, super important. Eh, Eliseo, sí, ahorita lo marco Eliseo. Y me había faltado Silvia, right? Thank Silvia, you. I got it. You are welcome. Y Eliseo, yes. Ok. So, eh, les pido ayuda con eso, chicos. Si no, el día de mañana lo voy a estar ahí molestando. Mire, por favor, ayúdenme a completar la tarea. Ayúdenme a hacerla. So, eh, revisa el día de ahora, que ya se completa. All right. So, thank you, everybody. Pretty much that's it for today. Eh, no sé si alguien tiene una pregunta antes de irnos. Oh. We're good. All right, awesome. Very good. Awesome. So, gracias por su eh, asistencia. Super, super nice. Almost eh, tenemos full house today. I will be seeing you tomorrow and have a good night. So, it's mañana, mañana hay más la rosa blanca. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay.